Now that we know some things about the moon and moon phases, we're going to go into a little more detail and talk about when the moon rises and sets and where we see it in the sky when it's in different phases. So we're going to start with our over the north pole view of the earth, which means that the earth is going to rotate counterclockwise. And again, when we think about direction, uh, we are moving to the east. So in a rotating Earth, east is not just to the right, it's any direction that takes us counterclockwise. So as you can see on the bottom of this globe, east is to the right, but on the top, east is to the left. And if we start these rotating with our Earth, we can see that any time we're facing the direction the Earth is rotating, we're looking east. And the opposite would be true. If we're looking in the other direction from the way the Earth is rotating, we are looking west. So now we're going to bring in some sunlight and we can see then where the daytime side of the earth is and this brings in some reference points for time. So when we're in the middle of the daytime side, that's noon, uh, when we're in the middle of the nighttime side, that's midnight. And as we cross from one to the other from day into night, that's sunset. We're going to call that 6 p.m. and sunrise when we move from night into day, that'll be 6 a.m. If you have questions about this, I'll put a link in the description to a video that explains a little more about the sun and time. But now we're going to add the moon in and its orbit around the earth. As we said earlier, we're rotating around our axis in the counterclockwise direction. The moon will orbit the earth in that same direction. So we'll let the moon go around the earth. And we'll drop into our moon phases. And if you have some questions about those, I'll put a link in the description to a video that explains why the moon goes through phases. So now let's just drop into one of these phases. And we're gonna pick that waxing gibbous moon down there. And let's think about when this moon would rise and set. So we'll let our observer orbit around. And when we come around to sunrise, we're gonna add an arrow that shows the direction that that person is looking. So they're looking to the east and there's their horizon as they rotate around the earth. They can't see the moon yet until they get right about here and that moon rises uh, in this case, it's around 3 p.m. is when that moon would rise. And that moon phase is our waxing gibbous. So a waxing gibbous moon rises at 3 p.m. Well, let's take a look at another phase. So we'll switch over to our uh, waning crescent moon, and we'll skip the animations here. We have our observer right there at the 3 a.m. point, and they would be looking to the east to see that moon. And so a waning crescent moon would rise at 3 a.m. Now, this next part... It's going to get a little busy, but hopefully it makes sense. We're just going to pick the point on the Earth where we would be looking to the east to see each of those phases. So there's about three or four days between each of these phase pictures of the moon. And in that time, the moon rises about three hours later. So, so every night, the moon rises. It's really actually about 45 minutes later than it did the night before. And while we were focusing on rise times in these animations, because the Earth takes 24 hours to rotate, everything will move across the sky in 12 hours. So if you know what time something rises, 12 hours later, it will set. And halfway through that time, six hours after it rises, it'll be in the middle of the sky. So I hope that cleared some things up about moon phases and when they rise and when they set. I know it takes a little practice to get used to putting together what you can see and where the moon is and what time of day it is. But hopefully these visuals helped out a little bit.